We all have our quirks and talents. Sometimes they're linked. Tonight, Kelly Lands Dan Santella is introducing you to a man you might already know. Maybe it's his cookies or maybe it's his conversation. Stan Knox drives customers for Vernity Honda in Sioux Falls. But he's so much more than someone who can get you from point A to point B. He's also a conversationalist. Hi, Marla. I'm Stan. And um, if you had the Breaking into a conversation, he explains, is a process. A recipe, if you will. And that obsession with a sweet confection benefits See, I, a lot of people. My obsession is baking. Nice. I work into it a little bit, and, and I tell them that, that my, my obsession is baking, and oh, really? And um, they um, start asking questions about different things. His best estimation, he's made thousands of cookies. One happy recipient is Judd Lindquist, who has known Knox for years. When I asked here a few years back and said, well, who made these? They go, well, Stan made those. Well, I had to go meet Stan and tell him how good they were, and friendship went from there. Knox even has a special phrase for the days he bakes his cookies. Call it um, baking therapy Saturday because on Saturday I made cookies, and it's good therapy. I lost my better half. Well, it'll be a year and a half the 22nd of this month, and uh, she was the cook, and I was the baker, and so kind of a tribute to what, what we did. After all, it's not just about a cookie, no matter how good it tastes. That's the joy of doing this, is to see the smile on people's faces when they, when they bite into a cookie. Yes, I still like the spoon. Dan Centella. Kelland News. You gotta lick the spoon, don't you? You can find Knox's work on YouTube under the name Baking Therapy Saturday. We have included a link to it under the story at kelloland.com. And now all I want is a cookie. I yeah, I wish cookie. I liked cookies. I don't like cookies, <laughs> but oh well.